Tons of old game mode events are returning soon, and it looks like we have a little bit of an inkling into what the Thanksgiving event's going to be about. Let's begin. Let's quickly talk about what we got last week. Last week we got the big Bungo Stray Dogs crossover that finally came after its big long delay. All of the things that were supposed to come in the Echoes eventually just had to come into the store instead, so we got a crossover package that was available for Prisoner, his s skin Osamu Dazai, and his accessory Osamu Dazai's favorite book. If you bought this package as well, you would get a portrait and you would get two graffitis as well. Or of course you could buy the skin and the accessories separately. I believe they were only Echoes though. There was also another purchase that you can make in the store that was Mercenaries S tier skin Atsushi Nakajima that was available for 2,308 Echoes for the first week and then next week it's going to go up a little bit more. This was like a small discount that they gave us. Connected to the skin of course we got the Mercenaries accessory that is the Tiger Tail that came along with the crossover event. If you log in daily, complete matches and submissions as well, you can receive Mercenaries B tier accessory, Tiger Tail, portrait frames, two graffitis and more. I just want to make a note, if you are a PC player only and you haven't been able to share in previous events, you can actually share in this event. One of the missions says share, if you click on it and then press one of either Twitter or Facebook, it will count as if you shared it, even though you didn't actually go onto another website. This Tiger Tail accessory begins at B tier, but it can also be upgraded to A tier and then eventually to S tier with some tokens that you can earn during the event. On the free track, if you're playing and not spending any echoes, you're only allowed to upgrade it into its A tier with 480 tokens. If you want to get it to S tier, you do need to spend some echoes to be able to do so, but you are also able to use those tokens to be able to get some essences or something like that. As a little apology, Natiz has also given us a free skin for this crossover, the A tier skin for Painter that absolutely everyone is using in every single match now. That is the skin Rampo Itogawa, that's an A tier of course. It comes along also with a portrait through graffitis and a B tier accessory, the deduction glasses that he wears on his face. It's once again another accessory that's not in the usual place that you'd expect it to be in. But we got that all for free in the mail. A small addition they added was they also added a hard mode to the Nocturnal Escape game mode. I have yet to try it. In the patch notes, it seemed to suggest that it wasn't really like an, a massive upgrade to the normal mode. It's just that it was more difficult to be able to get the fast track mode in the Nocturnal Escape. That happens when somebody is at the very end, they open the gates. There's normally just an open passage that you can go through for people who get a little bit lost. I think it makes it so that teammates do have to find their way there. They made a small adjustment to Prisoner's Connection that when it's been broken, the suspension time will be shown. I have yet to see what that means I don't really know. Another big change that they made was quite substantial. I was surprised to see that Netties did this. They changed how matching works. They've now completely removed the matching room when you're waiting to be able to get a match. Instead you'll just be waiting in your room that I think is a great way of doing it because now you can just spend your time in your room, on your swings, on your bed, whatever it is that you have and to hang out with your friends if you have your teammates there to be able to you know just run around the room, chat, take photos, whatever it is like that. I think it's very cool. Also means that people are more happy to wait longer for matching matchmaking that could be some solution. They also added a number underneath each of the kind of the roles in quick match, 10 minutes or so, five minutes for survivor, five to 10 minutes usually, and below one minute for, for hunters. So you now know how long you have to wait, kind of shows us how crazy the differences are. They've also added an option in quick match when you're choosing to match as either survivor or hunter to be able to match as both. And 99% of the time it will match you as hunter because the queue time for hunter is really, really short. So let's talk about what's coming up this week? Well, first of all, one of the things that we can confirm are happening this week are character days. We've got two character days for technically the same character. We've got Evil Reptilian's character day coming, I believe, on the 13th. He should be getting his third character day, I believe. And we're also getting Professor, that is technically his survivor variant, his first character day. So that's going to be nice as well. We have the continuation, of course, of the BSD crossover. There's nothing really new coming, I believe, for this crossover. I think there's nothing kind of been announced that's going to change. So it will just be a continuation of all the events that we're currently doing. If you're following the story, then we'll be still getting more story stuff. And that's the usual kind of stuff. The discount for Mercenaries S tier skin as I said before, will be disappearing. So make sure that if you want to get that skin for Echoes, you go and do it straight away because there's not going to be a discount after this. And one thing that I expect to be coming out this week, and I believe it will be coming out of the day of the release of this video. I am recording this on Monday, Monday morning in my time, early morning in America, if you are American viewers. I believe that Netties tomorrow will probably release a video on the new Survivor, the Composer. 
I believe that they'll release maybe his lore story video and maybe his abilities. I believe they usually release the abilities on Wednesdays and on Tuesdays they usually release the kind of the character's story video. So I believe and after my video or possibly before the release of this very video, you should have already watched the video and I am probably already watched that too at that point, but I couldn't add it to this video. Okay, let's talk about what's coming from the future. For Thanksgiving, we've got a Thanksgiving event coming up soon that I've already mentioned in the past and we already knew that they were going to bring back the frenzy rhapsody mode if you don't remember that one that is the dodgeball mode they promised us and they told us in a q a that this mode will be coming back again with its event i believe it looks like idv curiosity on their twitter has seemed to have found some leaks or some information about how multiple game mode events are coming back again if you remember the tarot crystal ball mode event where you could get some kind of fragments and stuff like that that will also be coming back on thanksgiving the Frenzy Rhapsody one, of course, will be coming. And the Chasing Shadows one, that was is the Mario Kart game that you guys can all play. That game mode will be coming back. I believe this is definitely the case, as Nettis has also answered in previous Q&As, that the skin for Dream Witch will be coming back again at some point. So I believe that this will be coming back, at least for the Thanksgiving event. It should be coming on the 17th onwards. Another Thanksgiving leak that IDV Curiosity has also talked about, so please make sure you go and follow them on Twitter. We need to go give them some love. They seem to be doing a lot of digging and finding information and in the game and outside of the game, it's really cool. They've said that there's going to be, the event is going to be called Lisa's Amusement Park. I am really unsure what this is or what this is even going to be, but it looks like it's going to be amusement park themed. In previous Thanksgiving events, we would only get small rewards like a portrait and maybe a portrait frame maybe they'll give us something more this time i'm unsure and idv curiosity once again has said that the first deduction star costume that we're going to be getting from 2022's winners will be female dancers probably this one they said they aren't really confirmed on moving on to the talk in the manner where i respond to your comments that you guys left on my recent video let's begin Mr. Saxabeat says they ignored the Cypher Rush nerf questions on purpose. This is in reference to how I made a funny video, a comedy sketch about how devs answer, how Identity 5 devs answer Q&A questions. It does feel like they completely ignore that topic anymore. The whole Cypher Speed thing, as soon as they kind of scrapped the changes for the Cypher machines that they put into the test server quite a while ago, that just disappeared. They got rid of it. They didn't say anything about it. Since then, they have not mentioned it at all. And they Used to mention it quite often in Q&As how they were unhappy with the speed of cipher machines and then since then they've just buffed it buffed it buffed it buffed it even feels like they are trying to avoid making that mistake and then say maybe we were wrong but they're not telling us that but we would like some more information on is this a problem right now really do they think it's still a problem because nothing has really changed characters have gotten stronger at decoding and hunters haven't got better at doing dealing with cipher machines so if it was bad back then that it's also bad now as we've already discussed hunter win rates are very very high and we've discussed why that is the case in one of my videos i'm not sure if they even watch those kind of things hunters are winning more often but they're not giving us more information than that that's not how you kind of calculate if the cypher machines are going too quickly or not which Thanksgiving mode event are you most looking forward to? The Tarot Crystal Ball mode, the Frenzy Rhapsody one, or the Chasing Shadow one? Which one are you looking forward to the return of? Tell me down below. Remember to like and subscribe and check out the Black Phoenix IDB channel. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye-bye.